You don't have a place. Hey, I don't want to tell you I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong song. Well, okay. you could never be disappointed when no, Clint Black sings. No, no, no Clint no. Black, he's so cool. Yeah. All right, you're listening to Clay Nelson and Susan Nelson on the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. We're talking about disappointment and how it can run your life, or you can just dump it and get rid of it. And Susan's over here just raring to go with an email. What yes, you got? Yes, it's from Jerry. He says, where is the line between those disappointments you just need to get over, like give it up and forget about, mm-hmm. and those that you actually need to do something about? Okay, it, it's simple. It's can I learn from it? Can I make something better? Can I make a difference? Those things that you're disappointed about that you can either learn from, make a difference, or grow somebody by, all right, you want to go get involved in. If they don't fall in one of those three categories, dump them, get rid of them, let them go. They mean nothing. With the disappointment or the person? No, the disappointment. Okay. You know, I just oh, want to make sure I was did, catch- I, did, I, did I misread? Did no, I mis- no, no, no. You did fine. I just, I was, I was. Is I this was going to be one of those blonde whiplash <laughs> things, you know, where I'm walking no, around I, going, huh? No, I, I you were. You went faster than my brain was going. Oh, so sorry. I, I I was just wanted to catch up and make okay, sure. Okay, so that I all you guys out there, Radio Land, that was Susan. That's that's my wife. She's a beautiful woman, and sometimes she says stuff to me I don't quite understand, and I just did that to her. So what's that? That's one thousand for you and six for me, right? <laughs> About that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About that. Okay. All right. Now. So, uh, by the way, I've gotten some calls in here. They want to know they, where they could get a copy of that, uh, what I read about today's reality check, about that wonderful story about the Special Olympics. And you can send me an email at clay at uh, claynelsonlifebalance.com and just ask for the Special Olympics story. I'll be glad to send you a copy of it, okay? Uh, let me see now. Dumping disappointment. First, you have to acknowledge that you have some, Okay. And then you have to uh, put your disappointment into perspective. And uh, am I on my last segment of the show? This is it? Oh, then I need to be good here. Hmm. You've got to rush. Uh, oh, do I? Oh, <laughs> how much time have I got? Oh, five minutes. Oh, i got a lifetime. Okay, so now, so you have to kind of really kind of organize yourself about disappointment. And you have to choose how much power you want to give the disappointment. I mean, you can give it all your power or just a little bit of your power or just enough to learn from it or just enough to realize that, yeah, I am disappointed, but I'm getting over it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, kind of like what you do with me well, 90 percent of the time. You know what I mean? So now. So it's like uh, sometimes I'm really disappointed, disappointed in what my clients say or do because I just can't believe they would say it or I just can't believe they would take the actions they take. But I just have to wait and see. Remember, um, so you have to keep things in perspective. OK. Good, uh, a good litmus test I've found is that if someone is bleeding or dying and there is something that I can do to make a difference in a disappointing situation, then maybe that's what I should do, okay? Uh, if, it's, if it's just a disappointment and it's just a minor setback uh, and it's not the end of the world, then I just really just move on, you know? Like Forrest Gump said, my mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's kind of like what life's all about, right? Mm -hmm. When you married me, that's what you got, the box, right? Okay, now. (laughs) I didn't get the chocolates. I just got the box. Oh, that does it. (laughs) I'm disappointed. All right. (laughs) All right. So, uh, you know, in many ways, many respects in life, you know, the box of chocolates that that Forrest Gump said is really true. And if we're in touch with our feelings, you know, and life is kind of disappointment sometimes and so what and it's okay after all it isn't about what we do with the stuff that gets thrown at us it's because life is not about the stuff it's about who we are and how we play the game so it's pretty cool life's really cool all right now i got a couple of i got a couple of quotes that i want to give you our aristotle said happiness depends upon ourselves i mean duh like, okay. we're, like we're the only person who has yeah. a say in how our life right. turns out. Brian Tracy said, optimism is one quality more associated with success and happiness than the other. How about that one? Harry Truman, a pessimist is one who makes difficulties out of opportunities. All right. And an optimist is one who makes opportunities out of his difficulties. You know, it's all about how you choose to be. It's all about your belief systems. I mean, remember the reality check story, today's reality check, the Special Olympics story? But everybody turned around and gathered up so everybody could win. Now, last but not least, remember, all right, you can sponsor the torch run for 250 250 bucks, which I'm be glad to do. You can run with officers and athletes for a $25 donation and receive a T-shirt, which is a very cool T-shirt. It's got one of those good necks on it, too, you know. 
You make a donation to support the athlete attendance to the summer games, but they can all use the help. And last but not least, you can come and cheer the runners as they come through Santa Barbara. So get a hold of Sarah at, at uh, 805-884-1516. So I want to thank you for being with me today. Susan, thank you very much. You're We've welcome. lived through another week. Isn't it cool? Why? So, uh, not too disappointed? No, not at all. So uh, remember, disappointment is nothing more than the power that you give it. So if you want to give it power, do it good. Be disappointed for 30 seconds and move on. Okay? So we're now, uh, I'm Clay Nelson, and this is the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. You're listening on KZSB AM 1290 in Santa Barbara. Thank you for listening. This is Wednesday. You can hear me at Wednesday from 2 to 3 and from 10 to 11 on the same day. And then on Sundays from 12 to 1. So come on back. Let's party.